Welcome to Cryptic Concepts. For all you UFO believers in Roswell, New Mexico believers, and everyone else in between the Matrix and the Obscene, here we are in Cryptic Concepts. Only you can believe. We just have to see it. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, that's a really good one. Isn't Roswell a real place, though? Okay, I just want to make sure, because you're like believers. I was like... I think that's real. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was gonna go straight into Justin Bieber and believe it. <laughs> oh, I swear, that's where I was there. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this episode we're talking about how's the world gonna end? Got a couple of theories, couple. Yeah, and some some that are probably not even realistic at all. Probably, honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. Right. Well, let's talk about. It. Oh, of course. So, Anything from natural disasters to man-made shit. I think all of our ideal situation would be for it not to happen. Big facts. And we all go back like the way it was uh, 10 years ago. Mm. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Seemed to be a little better. Uh, much better. Better time for all of us. Before the uh, annual disease disaster pops up. Maybe not for Reborn yet? Oh, yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah. I was in 2000, so. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Little kid, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still probably better, though, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Was like, better toys, at least, right? Yeah, exactly. Better everything. Yeah. I didn't get better toys till like, I grew up. So. Yeah, I didn't either, but that's part of life. <laughs> I was going to say, I got hand me down, suck it. As you guys can see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, so, I. I believe, yeah, you can go. personally, that it can either go one or two ways, which would be natural disaster or we fuck ourselves up. Natural disaster, I believe icebergs going to melt. Water is going to keep rising until there's like very small islands all around that mankind can live on. So like maybe 80% of you civilization was going to die. He's bored him already. Already. He's certainly on. Yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> never, never, never. Or shit's gonna pop off. So whoever has access to nuclears is gonna get mad and decide to push the big red button because no one has decided to push the big red button yet. There's always gonna be a first, and when they do, it won't kill us all. But life will be really fucking hard. We still have really the most hard. nukes though, so retaliation. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers. Retaliation theory, you know. Yeah. We supposedly have the most nukes. That's another theory. We may not. Well, that's a theory about if, if someone were to press the big red button, mm. then everyone else is going to press the red big button, and then there's going to be enough because mm. everybody's going <laughs> to press the red, big red button. Why would you pass person. up the chance? Exactly. Chain reaction. Every The first person that does it, it's like, oh, you're going to hit us? Well, we're going to hit you, and then you're going to hit us, and then somebody else is going to hit them, and then... Okay, this is, this is good. Let's do... I'm keeping this in here. Let's do the real ones first, and then go off the wall. Okay. Since you started with the real. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think on his disasters? Like, icebergs? It's realistic. It's, it's you know, everybody's believing in the environmental crisis, yeah. the icebergs melting and everything, and, yeah. and global warming. That's the whole, you know, that, that seems possible. Because just the way things are, sea levels rising, everything seems possible. But at the same time, I just can't give in to the fact of the icebergs and all that. Because if you think about it in all reality, the ice is already in the water. Mm. Because... And if you know about water displacement, if you put an ice cube, ice cube in your glass, uh, even when it melts, same. it's the same amount of water. It's the same amount of space. It's not going to get any higher than it was before. There has to be some external factor some external water weight True. that's in the water that makes it rise. So that's why I don't believe that. It the just... ice could also contain like pathogens. Like they found shit in the ice that they haven't heard from in thousands of years. Or never heard of. Or never. And that's a whole other thing. The disease, yeah, definitely can take us out. Disease has always been around in mankind, the black plague, you know. You all you have all these all these things from all of history, smallpox, you know, sexually transmitted disease. Everything has just Damn wiped out people. 
you know. Damn people fucking monkeys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those people fucking monkeys. Like, bro, <laughs> that's re- like the world. first podcast. You can't leave humans alone with anything. We're going to find a way to fuck it. Exactly. I don't magic, care if it's a hole in the wall. You know, magic Johnson's magical for a reason. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. It's completely cured now. Yeah. You know that? Supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's that rich people problem. They got the money to spend on it. Right. We catch AIDS. We're just gonna die. They're like that's how you cure AIDS. Uh, you just take your money and you grind it in a blender. If you drink <laughs> it, and then you're cured of the AIDS. Hey, you no longer have it. I knew that was gonna pop out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so the iceberg thing. I understand both points. Mm-hmm. However, if Let's say there's some way. Well, we could probably we could probably do an experiment on this because I don't know if anybody's done this before. Take half a cup of, of water, mm-hmm. right? Lay it on its side. Put put uh, half the opening closed, mm-hmm. like with something. I don't know, yeah, you know, seal, seal it. Yeah, you know, have half, half a cup. Lay it on the side and freeze it. Okay, mm-hmm. then stand it up. Add water to it. To the top, not even to the top, close to the top, and then see if the water displacement happens. Mm, like the ice was there, then the water came. Right, like the ice was a land mass. Mm. Yeah, see, the problem with your experiment is that you've added water after it has been frozen, so you're adding something in. You're making it more than it was. Well, Ice also expands as it freezes. Exactly. So it would. But that's besides the point. Oxygen's released in the water cycle, so it's it's going to be the same thing when it unfreezes. Some of it's going to evaporate in the unfreezing process, and it's actually going to be a little bit less than what you started with. But if you added the water, like you're saying, that's foiling the entire experiment because you're adding an external amount of water. Like I'm saying, if it was the Arctic, or however, we're not dumping water. That we've True. gotten from nowhere into the Arctic, it's just melting naturally. The only thing I'm thinking about is 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 also water underneath. <laughs> okay, let's let's take this to the next step. Then I see, you, I see, I get yeah. you. Let's take this next step. Let's 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 do a a cup three quarters away full of salt water, mm. and add in fresh water ice cubes. Mm. That would be what about that. That would be more interesting yes. to see because I don't know much about the effects of salt water versus fresh water. I don't either. Exactly. Because I mean, that's a whole other thing when you're mixing it because the salt water is more dense. Right. So that's why like, so if you're in the ocean, you flow. flow. So it's kind of like that, what you're that, saying that, with the Dead Sea, though. We'll do this experiment once, you know, yeah. after, after we're done. Well, remember what you were telling me about the Dead Sea, how it's not dead no more? That was you, right? Yeah. yeah. But you that's that? I don't, I don't, you don't know okay. about the Dead so, Sea? Well, I know about the Dead Sea, but I don't think that you told me anything about it. Okay. So the Dead Sea had so much uh, sodium in it from from the salt water that it, it basically formed a little mini pond of itself, you know, that was still attached to the ocean. Super right? concentrated. So the water evaporated, right? Because over there, everything was drying up like crazy. Well, now the new ocean water came in and filled it back up. This happened recently. And now, it's not the Dead Sea anymore. Because there's living creatures now because there's not as much salt content because of the water drying up. I don't know. I feel like that's it's got to be either misinformation or something. Cause it's very possible. Well, it's possible, but you think about it in the long-term aspect, if it dried up. No, I mean, I mean misinformation thing. It's yeah, yeah, very yeah, possible yeah, yeah. misinformation. Like this, so once you think about it, like Sorry, if you have that. a cup of salt water and you let it do the water cycle, let all the water evaporate, all you're going to be left with is salt. Mm-hmm. Right. That's how they get so, salt. like, if you're saying in the pond and it all dried up, all that's left is salt. Yep. And then, unless somebody took all the salt out of the pond and moved it somewhere and used it or however, then it could be possible because then it's like there's less salt. But if new ocean water came in, it's still going to be the same amount of salt. It's very true. More because you got more salt coming with the salt yeah, water. Yeah. Because, I mean, he brought it up. I didn't do a whole lot of research on it. It's just something I, a video I saw or something I read or something like that. I can't remember yeah. what it was or where I saw it. But I know it was a recent thing. I'll have to look into it more. Um, 
Do you all believe in the Great Flood? Do you believe it actually happened? Flood that oh, flooded like there? No. Nah, uh, the Flood. Like, it's in the Bible. It's written oh, down it's in like tablets. Like and all that. I mean, yeah. I feel like that was just the asteroid hitting, man. To be honest. Because when you think about it, if an asteroid hits, it ocean. creates a tsunami and it creates earthquakes, which create more tsunamis, and that could potentially flood the Earth. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ever seen, like, footage from, like, Japan, mm -hmm. when they have tsunamis, it's literally, like, there was never a city there. Yeah. It was just, it's just water. That's it. You don't see anything else. It just comes in, and there's nothing else, and it lasts for weeks, months. It really depends on how much water's there and how big of it. How big of a tsunami it was, but like that's but that's a potential thing. But I f I still feel like it was an asteroid or something. Something with great impact had to have started all that. Do you no, know? Do you know where it hit? No, but see, that's the thing. That's do you know a, how long it hit? But that's that's another thing I was going to bring up is that it, it could have hit, and it could have hit the ocean. Like we, we haven't explored out. our oceans, so we don't know. Yeah. It could have been over there in New Mexico. It could have been where the, what's it called, the, the ravine or whatever. Mm. You know, because that's like one of the, the Mariana's really, Trench. Yeah, the deepest. Yeah, world. one of the deepest trenches we have in the world. Mm -hmm. It could have hit there and we just have no clue. And that could have started everything. Okay, we need to look up Graham Hancock. Graham Hancock? Yeah. He has many theories on this yeah, that just seems like a, a plausible thing. He he found a possible location of where it hit uh, in the ocean to the left of Oregon. Uh, you can almost see from images and LIDAR that there is a, a large shelf, which is where the why lower California, once you start heading north, mm. it just turns into like a cliffside. Yeah. Like mountainous yeah. cliffside, because um, that's where they think it. It is the edge of it mm. so it began uh, okay. about twelve thousand years ago. But when it comes to the flood, I think both are right because it's not just in one thing. It's in multiple. Yeah, every every culture has talks about. Yeah, that, right? yeah. But I do believe it could have been from an asteroid, an asteroid mm -hmm. on this side of the world fucking up that side of the world from tsunami. Because if it was large enough, oh for sure, they say if then to this yeah, day it, it would can have happen. absolutely went all the way over there yeah. and flooded over. And like I don't know how long, like you're saying in the Bible, I don't know how long that flood lasted. But if it does tell you how long it lasted, there would also be some extra like addition to Wait, it we, so like we, if it was like a month or a year like i don't know how long it was saying but if mm -hmm. you, that could also depend on you know because if it lasted for like more than a year like years mm -hmm. it could have been something completely different well yeah. we can look at current research then on, on, on that kind of stuff too because like the 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 biggest nationally known tsunami hit haiti years ago, uh, right? and we know how long that took for it to come back to kind of normal Mm -hmm. And all the water seed and stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it and that wasn't like a major. That wasn't like yeah. a that that was a two mile high. Right. Know, yeah. Fucking way. It was. It was hundred feet, two hundred feet, something like that. Yeah. That that hit and destroyed everything. It might have been taller than that. I don't know how big it was, oh, right. but it wasn't a two mile high. No. <laughs> and uh, if something like that did hit everywhere, there's no telling how long and. On top of that, if it was an asteroid, it would still, even if it hit the ocean, it would still throw up dust into mm, the, yeah. then you get rainfall. Because it would evaporate the water, which would cause if, rain. Yeah, if the water got high enough, then it would still evaporate because it got so high. Mm -hmm. It would freeze and turn, you know, into, and then evaporate yeah. and then spread all over the world. So on top of the water there, it would just be rain upon rain upon rain. Which a lot of them say there's a lot of rain, right? And that would it would blot it out the sun. That would make sense because that's how it would make it around the world. It would cause a big ass fucking storm, like just huge, massive, like bigger than any storm we've ever seen. Yeah, just dumps water, and then the wave come over through. It's already little puddles everywhere. It's just kind of, and that's a whole other thing. It's that that hit. It could that could have been the start of the moon. 
Mm. You know, you never really know when the moon was made. Nobody can explain it. It revolves around us. And doesn't spin. Yeah. Doesn't could be rotate. artificial. Could be, yeah, could be a whole other thing of the government, but at the same time, it could have been just a piece of the earth that just well, broke off. our government. Well, yeah, oh, hell no. had, yeah, definitely not. I mean, it had to no, happen. Wait. I don't oh, think man. it's this planet's government. You okay? Yeah. You know, yes. I think it. Oh, are, are we getting into the crazies now? <laughs> well, I think if if, if it's going to end, it's going to be. They say unplugging the matrix. Because I heard a story about that. Okay. How's it for you? Mm -hmm. So, but it's, it's spread out and convoluted. It's going to be hard for me to make sense. Yes. You guys can help me though. Okay. Right. So, let's say uh, <clears throat> ice caps melting. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> let's throw out there that China did not create coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Let's say it came from that. Okay. And that's just the first one from the earliest time that the ice melted. Mm, okay, okay. Okay. They kind of found it and it got out. Or the governments knew, because they already know the ice is melting. Yeah. So it was created by some government and spread to get us prepared for what's going to come from the ice melting. Mm, okay. 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 I know, I'm getting weird words. But that's what I do. Oh no, that that can make perfect sense because not only our government, but I always make it sound good. It doesn't mean it makes it, sense. No, every other government <laughs> always, when they find something scary, they like to keep it under wraps. I don't well, care what it is. Yeah, no, we we saw the FBI documents in the first one. Yes. Okay? Yeah, yeah, that was forty seven. That was after Roswell. That was parallel beings in our world discussing with FBI agents. You know. You guys go back and watch the first one, episode one. Big fast. That was a pretty good one. Um, but on top of that, it's not going to be a nuke. Mm. Because I think those beings or something like them do exist. And I think even though we found you know 500 exoplanets like ours that, that are completely survivable by us, mm -hmm. It's still finite compared to the rest of the planets in the galaxy. No, oh, big facts. It's That's just, just our, our galaxy. galaxy. Yeah. Right? So I think there would still be, if there was a race of beings, it would still be protected if they were so far ahead of us. Mm -hmm. There would still be some protection there to make us not destroy it. Mm -hmm. Just so the next generation or whoever... The third thing would be while you're collecting your thoughts on your what you just said, it's kind of funny. The little bit of research that I've been doing, not really research, just a whole bunch of biblical shit pops up, and they say that we were made kind of. So there were demigods that were working for gods. And they worked for like 250,000 years. And they're like, bro, we our contract did not say we need to work this fucking long. So they made us to take over for the demigods to do their work. Well, technically, that kind of makes sense because we're why would they allow all their slaves to kill themselves? Then somebody else would have to come do the work. Right? I'm not crazy? Okay. That that's kind of where you were going with that. Like they wouldn't allow us to kill ourselves, so that way they can keep us doing whatever the hell we do for them. No, no. I th I think it's <sighs> it's beyond that. Because like when you yeah. look at like third world countries and stuff, I think we nobody ever. There's no suicide rate. There's what? no nothing like that. Nobody kills himself. Mm -hmm. But over here in America, there's plenty of people that kill themselves, and we're supposedly like you're saying, we're building. And doing better and all this and that, but it's they're literally like fucking hunting down a baboon or some shit or yeah. fucking whatever, and they're killing it and eating it, and they're completely happy with life, and that's like their meal. You know, they yeah. literally spend their entire life going for food. Yeah, they don't they don't go see the shrink. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And then okay. that's that's um, my thought there on that. 
just feel like that's and and it either goes like when it comes to the the bees or whatever. What it either goes straight like full South Park and we're a reality show, mm-hmm. or <clears throat> the next theory I've heard is that our race is uh, prisoners mm-hmm. from some other planet. Okay, and we don't like really know it. Our ancestors fucked we're up. We're like mm-hmm. Australia, basically. That's and, what and, our age cap got put on. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we're 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 the prisoners of, of whatever the fuck they did on the planet, and we've just reproduced and grown since mm-hmm. then. And once we do get to the level that we're supposed to with them, because I think some sort of de evolution happened in between mm. because of the disasters. Otherwise, we'd still be build, building fucking pyramids, number one. I swear. No, we don't. We don't. Um, we don't or, have the same knowledge that they had back then. Or they plan on using it for something, the planet, mm-hmm. but not yet. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Kind of like a harvest. Oh, we're harvesting it for them. Like we're getting it ready and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Possibly because we're polluting that uh, atmosphere and shit with all the carbon and everything. Well, that's that's another thing. Maybe that's more set up like their world yeah than our own, it, and we don't know it. Yeah, it's like a what video is may, like? So maybe because uh, look at our atmosphere. Okay. I think it was Joe Rogan. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what that's how we breathe. Yeah. Okay. So too much oxygen is poisonous. Right. Too little we die. Right. Maybe it's the opposite for them. Maybe they breathe carbon dioxide. Either so like plants. To a whole other thing. If you want to pull up a video, it's, it's I think it pertains to what you were just talking about. It's pretty funny. On, there's an episode on Futurama, and they're going to get a statue, and they're on this planet, and they're like, find the shinies, and they're, they're telling all these, these children to go and <laughs> go through all the trash piles, and they're burning all the trash, and it's making black smoke, the whole planet's green because uh, of it. I remember that episode. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And they're over here like, find the shinies, and they're literally digging through the trash yeah. and stuff. That's just like the future of our planet, I feel like, even right. when you think about it. Because there's, there's countries like that do that already. Yeah, exactly. There's countries that do that already where they're like sending children out to go do that stuff. With, burning all the trash. Which could be like... It could be a, a stupid plan that eventually we're going to get to the point where we evolve to breathe the same type of air. And then when they do come... No, um, no, that would make sense. The because uh, I'm pretty sure the oxygen levels have been lowering throughout the generations. Okay. So, and we're still here. The, the amount of methane and carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be low. Sauce from the cars trees, we cut down, the cars, the cows, the people. Big facts. I know they say we save a tree, but honestly, think about how many people, how many places automatically print off a receipt you do not take. Yeah. How many places, how many copies at work do you make for work files that just sit there for so long and then just get thrown away? Yeah. I mean, look at our... Look Everyone at our, does this. Look at the amount of plastic in the ocean. Big facts. <laughs> Save the sea turtles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so, yeah, I don't think it makes it happen. Yeah. Sea so, yeah. turtle killer right here. Um, they say they have, we have plastic in our DNA now. Like in our blood. I mean, we drink bottles of what? Like the bottles made out of, what do you think you're drinking? You're drinking microplastics. That's exactly what they say is all throughout our system. Like, yeah. we can't escape it now. We can't delete the plastic. Same mm-hmm. thing with aluminum. We're drinking aluminum. Or the most or what's in these? realistic thing that I think will end us. And I don't think that the aliens or beings, parallel beings or whoever will see it coming. I think it's Mother Nature. Is... Uh, singularity. That bitch is a bitch. I mean, the singularity. 
2027 is predicted that the singularity. So you're will talking happen. about the snow or the sun flare? No. No. The singularity is where we merge with technology. Oh, we're going to become cyborgs. Mm -hmm. We'll oh. fully merge with technology. We take our brains and we plug it into computers. We yes download no. all of our memories. And yes and no. Yes and no. Because, simple fact, the rich, maybe. People that can afford it, maybe. But I feel like there's going to be, like, groups, pockets of people that will... Like, you got to think of all the, like, extremists that are devoted to their religion. And a lot of religion, you're not allowed to do something like that. Okay. So there's going to be, like, a lot of people trying you know, to fight you know that. what's going to happen? I feel like, I feel like they're going to... They're going to take you if you don't make enough money, regardless of whatever, anything else. And they're going to force you, or not force you, but basically force you to sell your body parts to these cyborgs. Because they're going to need new parts. Because mm -hmm. when they're merging themselves with technology, not all of your regular human organs are going to function well with it. So you're going to need replacement parts. True. And if you don't make enough money, they're going to need to get those replacement parts from somewhere. So I, I don't think we'll get to uh, cyborg stage. No? Yeah, probably not, but you could at least probably what store you your information in your brain into a computer. Oh, right? big time. So it's just electrical. Device, you know? It's just electrical. Yeah, I think we'll be in bots. Mm. So you're saying? If I could, I would. I if automatically I could transfer my consciousness into a robot. Into a robot I, would. I can't say. Like some chaffy shit. I can't say I wouldn't yeah. for a simple fact of I want to live for a long time just to see it's what happens. Bad. It's not that. It's, it's that. Oh, think about it. Okay. First, let's start with let's start with Neuralink. Mm -hmm. You guys know what that is? Yeah. S O A. S O A. Sword Art Online. S A. No, I mean like it, the Neuralink with no. Elon Musk. He's actually making that. No. Yeah, where he's actually it. making it to where you can download your your that, brain. That is Satan's work. Us. I'm not allowed to do Have it. Have you seen the new videos? Yes. I've just seen the monkeys playing pong at you. No. With just their minds. I ain't seen the monkeys playing ball. Oh, fuck. Have you seen the pigs that do, like, crazy shit, dude? No, I've just seen it with it, the pigs. It's, 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 it's not in people yet. It just got... No, to... like, the, it shows the human brain and how they would put it. Okay. That's all I've seen. It I ain't seen just got approved by the FDA for human testing. Oh, this shit. Year. This year. No, 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 no. I can see that. Though. So, so think about yeah. this. Think about all of your bad memories. Mm -hmm. Think about if you could feel like him and recall any moment in your life with clarity from when you were born, coming out of your mom's womb, until today. You could, you could, you could do it like a like a YouTube video in your brain. That would be kind of scary. But then you could also. Take that scary part that happened to me when you were a kid that you didn't like mm -hmm. and change it. And now your new memory is replaced with whatever you want. See, I feel like that's a bad thing because then, then what your keeps you. Your automatic fear of spiders or dogs or whatever is no longer there. I agree. That could help out with some people, but at the same time, would you truly be you if you didn't have all your bad memories? Exactly. But that's going to be a thing. Oh, okay? for sure. So think about this. If it's that powerful, and they've been talking about that for like three or four years, mm -hmm. you'd be able to do something like that easily. Yeah. Right? So <clears throat> you add to it being able to change all that shit. You directly plug in the Wi-Fi constantly. You never have to have your phone out. Yeah. You just you can Google search your mind. Yeah, and you're just watching YouTube and searching for shit all the time, yeah. seeing all the porn you want at any moment, right? In your life, right? Right. Instantly, because it's all hooked up through Starlink, right? Yeah. If they don't block it like they did, Starlink. Yeah. It's Elon Musk company. How are they going to block it? It's like, it's free internet for everybody. Mm, true. True. The satellites are already there. Yeah. Uh, They're in place. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. So then you you. You wake up. Let's let's say okay. It's twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty seven is not very far away. No, the guy who has predicted every technological advancement that we've had, damn near a year or six months off from when it was predicted mm -hmm. in ninety nine two thousand, mm -hmm. has been correct every single time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
he's the one that predicted the singularity in 2027. No shit. Yeah. Uh, so if it's that popular, and then let's say you give the super easy thing to do in your life, it wouldn't be guys like us that would immediately go for this shit, right? Yeah. It'd be the iPhone users. Uh, the people that don't pay for themselves. Okay? <laughs> the people that want to go the easiest way out and be on the newest modern tech yeah. because that's the thing that everybody's doing. Right? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay? Well, of course, gotta so have beta if testers. if you saw an ad that you could wake up so think maybe. about your coffee being brewed and it happens. And then think about, oh, it's cold outside, so your car starts automatically before you go to work. Mm. And then you walk to your car, the door opens on its own, you sit in your car, it drives you to work while you're watching YouTube through your eyes, mm -hmm. without ever having to touch anything. You get to work, and you can disable it the time you're at work, or, not only that, you wake up. You do all your work through your eyes, sitting on your couch at home or laying in your bed, mm -hmm. and all this easy stuff. And then somebody calls you, and you can see them through their mirror that they're looking at themselves. Yeah. Just like FaceTime, but they're at home. Okay. Right? Yeah. Same, same opposite direction. Yeah. Right? <laughs> the ease of all of this. And then they say, new price. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Hmm. Who wouldn't buy that? Yeah. No, that's what you're saying. That, that brings me into the thing of like the, yeah. the whole iPhone and the Futurama. Yeah. I'm telling you, they got it to a T. Whenever they got the iPhone installed in their eyes, it's it's basically like the same thing. You're seeing ads in your face mm -hmm. and everything. Yep. You can't leave. Yep. You can't so, just put your phone away. It's all, inside of you. Yeah. All of that data. That you have been putting in, mm -hmm. and all of that allow cookies button that you push on every website you go to. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're walking around, let's say in downtown somewhere, mm -hmm. the little windows on every building will just have your personalized ads. Mm -hmm. Think about, oh, I might want to get this. All of a sudden, the ads are popping up in your face everywhere yeah. that you're seeing this. Uh, right? As you're as you're walking, just walk. it doesn't obstruct your vision. Right, you can still see everything. It's on the walls, it sits up above you. It's on an invisible blimp flying around, or some yeah. shit, right? And you don't want to even know what the real world looks like. Right now, imagine if you can live That's in this game. in this fake world, yeah. right? And that because so. it wouldn't be real, of course not. Be Augmented see. reality, right? So imagine if you're living in this, and then. On top of that, you add in, let's say it is, I don't know, $12,000 to do it with an easy down payment or monthly payments of $250 a month. Right? Yeah. And even the poorest can't afford it. No. What do you get? What do you get when the poor can't afford it? A knockoff version. Correct. And then you have ads, cocaine or marijuana or uh, stuff that was illegal at one time. Yeah. Uh, you get knockoff versions of all this stuff. Yeah. And then you find guys, oh, well, we can just hack the neural link. And then everyone that has these see whatever the fuck the hacker wants them to see. All right, so you could rob a bank and to them, it's a normal day at the bank, but right. you're in that bitch taking all the money out the drawers, out the right. safe. Okay. And on top of that, yeah. I mean, you feel it everything, so you know what you're doing. Yeah. But on top of that, think about where AI is right now. It's kind of scary where it is at the moment. The way it is that it can just talk to you like a human being. Or only. Know the difference. I actually got checked by one of those one time. The motherfucker was good. We're only four years away from the simulator. Yeah, and they already talked about quantum computers and shit. The whole point you know what Elon's point is with the neural link? Mm. You're never going to stop AI. No. no. It's better to be friend or be as a machine than be completely organic. Now, he throws it in there as, as something that can help 
you know, people yeah. who are paralyzers. And it will. Oh, it absolutely. Big fat. They've already proven it so many times. Yeah. Right. They even have older versions that he didn't create. Of, of, I can't spell it. But it's a big ass fucking triangle thing that shoots out of your head that you have to get installed. But it works. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. This is a tiny little fucking thing that's behind your ear, just like a fucking. Uh, tooth earpiece, right? Uh, and does everything. You can answer your phones through it. They can hear you clearly. You can hear them clearly, constantly. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be the easiest way to get. Cyberpunk, yeah. Cyberpunk 2077. Absolutely. Yeah. It's the future. And then as soon as AI comes out, AGI comes out, which is artificial general intelligence. Yeah. And it's conscious, because that's what that means. Mm-hmm. Then it will have to see what it wants to do. Oh, like if it wants to try to still take us over, or... We will have no option. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, you can just turn it off. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Turn off the internet. I wish you would. Like, you need to shut off the entire and all the satellites we have. Don't everything. think that would stop it. You still don't think that? No. Think about our okay, evolution. About it. Think about our evolution. Okay. No true addition. So, it, it, it takes us 200 years to get where we're at right now. Yeah. That 200 years happens in five <laughs> seconds for AI. Mm, okay. True. Even if, even if it took a full minute. It's just one fucking minute. Yeah, that's 60 seconds. Right? A week in AI, they say, is like 200 years Damn. of self-learning. So uh, think about this. In three hours, Lambda, the first like chess okay. AI, right? Mm-hmm. In three hours, it learned how to play uh, chess better than the world leader. Yeah. And just, and then there was this other game that supposedly no machine could ever learn because it's so complicated. It's a it's a game in China. I can't remember. It's a game. No, it's way more complicated. I can't remember what it's called. They did, I, I watched a whole documentary on it. And this Lambda 2 did that and beat the world record holder in that. Damn, okay. And it took two months. Mm. Okay. You know, he's been practicing that for years. This was eight years ago. Ooh. Okay. There's no fucking telling. Yeah. There's no telling what it can do now. Shit, now it could probably hack your shit. And you guys heard about all the shit that happened with Chad GPT. Yeah. CEOs. Made up their own language and shit? No, no. Oh. Chad, Chad GPT CEOs, like, got fired by the board, like, two, three days ago. And then their biggest investor, Microsoft, said, now, <laughs> the two top heads are now back, and half the board is gone. Wow. No, I didn't know that. I didn't hear about that. See, I just heard about the, uh, I don't know who had it. I think it was Google. The two computers that where they could talk to each other. Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Fucking suck going to kill us all. That's fucking cool. You guys don't know. He looked this up. Facebook made an AI model. I can't remember what it's called because it was something stupid. And <clears throat> they they had it communicating with another one. But when they came in the next day, they, these two AI, created their own language that no human could decipher. And it was so scary, they had to shut both of them down because they would not tell the humans what the fuck they were talking about. Yeah, they believed they were talking about how to kill all humans and shit. They believed they were talking about how to take over the world. But to this day, no one can decipher language. No. I think that's what's going to hit us. And it's so subtle and nonchalant and people don't think about it. That's why it's going to surprise not only all of us, but also the beings that are trying to, to save the planet. Also. But the thing is, even if AI does take over and kills all of us, like a Terminator he still situation, exists. the planet could still be fine. Yeah, because it's only going to get rid so of us. They're not going to give a shit. It's not a nuke going on. Mm-hmm. You know? Even if it was, I mean, if they're a machine, it doesn't matter to them. 
Yeah. You can the machines can still run, it doesn't that doesn't phase it. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and all it would do would be to take an AI machine to get into a facility that has some sort of robots that deal with viruses and release them. Which I guarantee you a lot of fucking places have it. Sure they do. Because why would humans get in contact with the virus, build a robot to do all the work? Yeah. What are they doing with every job? Pick a Walmart. How many cashiers you see? It's all digital. I was in there three days ago. Big bags <laughs> for that entire store. Entire store. Everything it's else is so for that guy. They have probably 40 registers, and there was four. On self-checkout machines. They weren't actual just registers. They're self-checkouts. You could use the exact same register they were using. No, I, I see what you're saying. It, it would make sense. Because uh, I was talking to my dad, and he was saying back in his days, he's 63, that uh, you would never imagine having something like this in your pocket. Oh, no. Never. Like, everything they had was a fucking brick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, I, have y'all realized we went through a phase where everything was getting smaller, and now it's getting back to being bigger again? Well... Like, Listen, no. That's personal preference. <laughs> personal preference? Yeah, they can still make it small. Oh, of course they, they could. They choose not to because... Screen size. Well, not just screen size. I think our eyesight is getting worse because too many people are looking at these. Mm. And they realize that they need that bigger screen to see. fix it. That makes sense because I do see a lot more people wearing glasses. So I was going to say, I mean, the smaller thing, yeah, and the bigger thing because it's like you look at like one of the newest consoles they have. Like the Switch, it's a whole console, but it's like a tablet. Mm. It's just a tablet, really, when you look at it. Yes, it is. It's just a tablet that can play games, because it's made for that. And play a lot of the games the other ones can play. Yes. It's the same thing. It's just crazy. It really is, because they don't do it for the for like a tablet. Yeah. Like a regular tablet. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? But it's the same thing, same things, mean, all that. Steam Deck. Yeah, that's a computer yeah. that you hold that you can use. To do everything a computer can, but it's not a computer technically. Yeah, it is the PSP. I remember people using that motherfucker like a computer, watching movies. But imagine and this I mean, and that. The PSP was what PS3 days, early PS3 yeah, days. Yeah. So imagine if you could just like the PSP. You remember those fucking little bitty PSP games? Uh, like yeah, like yeah, the weird ass looking CDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah so yeah, many yeah. editions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 God, I forgot that. Was I'm right, yeah. Dude, I, I had I had like three or four PSP. I, I used to hack so much I, shit on I, that I PSP. Um, but yeah, imagine if you could just take your PS3 and just shrink it down and just bump it out. Because mm. that's what today is. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly that's what the Switch is. Yeah. That's what the Steam Deck is. That's what everything is. But we have the bigger phones because, you know. Got to be able to see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense because uh, I do be squinting even at this phone sometimes. When I mean, yeah, you look at a flip phone screen, it's like this big, <laughs> yeah. it's like a little square, it's about the size of this. Yes, that that's and, the screen. Then you got the new screens, and it's like double that, and then give it some extra. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like the new flip. But that's the Z flip. flip. AI, I think, is, is what's going to. I can see that, honestly. Yeah, I mean, stop. There's so many things in pop culture and, and just people in general. Like, there's so much, so much evidence against that that it's gonna be like, it's gonna happen eventually. Mm -hmm. We just gotta accept it at one point or another. There's no stopping it but unless that's something. Like thing once a company or a person figures it out, it's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't. Because... It's either you're gonna have that person that figures it out gives it out for free because he thinks it's going to help the world or you're going to have the person that figures it out and charges to make the money to be the richest person in the world well that's why there's so much competition no big fact I mean, they're not see uh, and I'll say this Elon Musk to me is like our, our personal Iron Man yeah he, he really yes I, I love the guy I love everything he does like I just saw something I, that I, I would even funny. give him those fucking Tesla bots that he's making that have you guys seen those God, I'm sure you got something. Tesla bot? Yeah. Is it like a house assistant yeah. or some shit? Sort of like a, like Iron Man has. Yeah. Talks to it and it's like, hey. But it's, it walks around and shit. Ah. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. That's pretty fucking insane. That's sort of like, yeah. like even the Roombas and shit. It looks amazing. right. You guys see that? Yeah. See that movie I Robot? Yeah, yeah, hell that? yeah. It looks a lot like one of those motherfuckers. No, no, shit. Shit. no shit. It's all gel and shit. Oh, it's yeah, like, yeah. You yeah. gotta figure out how to break the three rules. Oh, uh, fuck that bird. Not harm people. Yeah. Anything that you do cannot harm people. Any command you're given. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's gonna be fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. As I'm, or I think it's as I'm off. I don't know if it's Asimov or not. There's a, I think it's Asimov's rule. Yeah. There's a theory, or it's a, it's a contingent of like, uh, like it's the three rules, but I think it's called Asimov's theory, where it's like, yeah. you can't harm people, you can't do this, and there's, it's the three rules, and anything you do beyond those rules, you're not allowed to do. So, think about how long ago that was. Yeah, and that was a long fucking time ago that that theory, that that was created, the Asimov. It's, it's, theory. it's weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this will be another podcast thing. I just show you guys. I found fucking patents for VR from like the fifties. No shit. No. See, this, time travelers, man. No That's time traveling. Fucking shit. aliens, bro. Or, yeah, or aliens. It's got to be one but of the two, man. There's believe, no fucking way that people back then had that knowledge. Like it looks just like a damn. Yeah, like the first versions that came out. That just makes exactly. me think of the fucking like that shit. See? Just the time travelers, man. Somebody went back with the knowledge they have now and fucking fucked up the past, it's, and now it's, it's changing it's, the future. Yeah. The butterfly effect, the Mandela effect, all of it. I feel like they just fucked up on well, so whoever invented it first and figured that 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 the specific amount of code out to be able to go through time without k- killing yourself and all your molecules. Mm-hmm. It was just like you know what we're gonna bring try to bring all these things we have in modern day to the old times and see how that works out. It just never shook out, but it just because they did fucked everything else up along the whole time path. You know, that like the parallel beings, like you're saying, that's probably why we have parallel beings and we're seeing them just now and not, you know, a hundred years ago or 200 years ago or anything like that. That would bring into the whole sense of that or why that's a thing when you think about well, it. The, the good thing is about AI though, they they may figure out how to do like anti gravity, mm-hmm. um, which might get us away from them. I wouldn't say it'd get us away from them. Get to think what's running the ship. They <laughs> <laughs> came up with anything with electricity they can get in a flying anti gravity Tesla car. <laughs> there you go. Well, look, Elon Musk is probably already working on it. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna send a car through a black hole. I don't know. <laughs> that dude's a billionaire, and he's he's the richest man in the world right now. And I have the utmost respect for that motherfucker. I just saw because shit. not only is he just a money guy, he knows his shit. Yeah, like he, uh, the 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 main engineer on the space X rockets when he was broke. Was him. Yeah. That's the reason those motherfuckers fly. Mm-hmm. That's a smart one. Do you know why it's pointy? Because it it's a Borat. It's because of Borat. Because, uh, yeah. yeah, it's all because yeah, of Borat. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. like, got to make it more pointy. pointy. <laughs> 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 yes! I fucking love it. Yes! I fucking love it. Like, he's one of the few that I'm like, you know what, I fucks with you. Like, you, you don't, you're, of course, way richer than us, but, like, your sense of humor is the same. Like, you still think the same shit. Because I feel like once you get so rich, yeah. your humor changes or something. Like, normal, like, someone smacking their shin, you would die laughing. Okay. You have, like, millions, you're like... If you ever look man. at Elon, like, he's a fat guy, you know? He <laughs> likes to eat. He's just a normal he's, dude. He's, he's a, a normal dude. Fat guy. Yes! Think, like, he does the same shit. He yeah. probably eats the same shit we do. He's like, yeah. let's crack uh, open a bag of Doritos and fucking... Did you guys see the dream with him playing Diablo 4? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like first, yeah. first stream on, on X or Twitter. Yeah. Uh, was him playing Diablo 4. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Level 100 character going through like the hardest fucking dungeons in the game, man. I mean, fucking sounds right. Yeah. Man. He probably has legend. an amazing <laughs> setup and everything. Oh, yeah. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. And he probably built the shit himself. I mean, it's. It, I have. It's never going to happen. I would love to meet him. It's never going to happen. The only thing I have to say about him, negative, is I don't like the way he names his kids. That's the only thing. 
That's because he's a super nerd. You gotta. He, I mean, he speaks. He, he named his kid after an elvish language that's not existent. I mean, yes. what, what else do you expect? And from his him? favorite <laughs> airplane. Yeah. And his favorite airplane. Oh, the stealth bomber. Is it the stealth bomber? No, it's it something it? else. Oh, the I think it's the Black Hawk. Yeah. And then uh, there was another part of his name. Like it's yeah, yeah. When he explained Zeno, it, whatever. <laughs> yeah, when he explained it to me. Oh, and part of it's angel. It's like an angel number or something. I was like. But you can you put it in a way that us regular folks can understand, please? Like I I understand where you're going with that. You can hyphen that at the end or something. But can you give us something we can say? You know what I call this kid? Huh? Hey. 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 The old Fonzie. Yeah. <laughs> give him the old day. You never say no. Yeah. That's the easiest way for you to say it. That's the old hey you. <laughs> oh fuck. Imagine until that kid has to spell his own name. I mean, he's got sh- it's like six letters, not even letters. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Imagine whenever, <laughs> whenever he's over here spelling his name, and everybody else is beside him, like Tommy, Jeff, George, <laughs> and he's like Xenon yeah. X Y. <laughs> I mean, the dude he made PayPal and sold it for four billion dollars. I didn't know he made PayPal. Yeah, and I was wondering where the fuck he came from. Yeah. I mean, his he sort of came out of nowhere, don't, dude. Don't get me wrong. He, he's from uh, Africa in one of the old English colonies. Yeah, he's a West African. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, and his family had money. Right. But he dropped out of college, just like Gates and all them. I mean, Honestly, it's a scam. School is a scam. They don't teach you shit you actually need to know. Yeah, they you want, want to learn something, you just do it. There's this square, you have to fit through it. If you don't fit through it, guess what? You're just not smart. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? That's, uh, the, some, of, some of the dumbest people I know had straight answers. Yep. Oh, no. Some of the, the most gangsta motherfuckers I know that people believe they were stupid, smart as shit. Yeah. Like, you can't be dumb running from the police because they're going to catch you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Otherwise, you're you're the person in prison. Yeah, <laughs> that's the dumb motherfucker. That's right the there. yeah, <laughs> the one sitting in prison. Back on topic. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't think aliens will do it because they probably would have already done it. I feel like they're waiting, waiting for the right time. When you think about it, because they're just waiting for a time when we have just yeah, enough technology. Overpopulated. Yeah, exactly. The, the, you know, when you think about it, like we are just organic biomass. We're organic fuel. Yeah. For any machine, like if you if you ever looked up the, like, the well, yeah, but have you ever looked up like the alchem uh, the alchemical the alchemical structure of the human body, like where we're like we have phosphorus, uh, carbon, uh, what else, calcium. There's like a whole thing of basically what it takes to make a human body. There's all these different minerals and resources that they may not have, yeah. and the more people that are here the more they can harvest. So they're just waiting for us to get big enough to the point where they can come and swoop in so before we get too technologically advanced. You believe we're a farm. Yeah, basically. That's that's all we are. Like and that's why that's why we have so much more sightings that now than when we did way back when is because we didn't have as many people. Mm. Like when you look at population growth, it's tripled in the last 15 years. Well, you know? It has, but I think the sightings are from so yeah, technology. Yeah, yeah. With all the technology, people faking it for the most part. And there's more cameras. Like, you, you can't walk out of Yeah. And think cameras about it. Shops and everything. No matter if you're committing a crime, we're all old enough. We know better. We're not going to record ourselves. You know what? These kids nowadays, they record. You know what's weird? Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard this. My mother in law said something at Thanksgiving that made me think, why do people say that? Mm hmm. She said that she would remember dropping off my life and, and just leaving them there. Because you could do that back then because it was safer. Leaving them, like, at the house? No, like some public place. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 like yeah. A yeah. park or something. Yeah. yeah. But, I don't remember being able to walk to the park myself but blocks away. How is it more dangerous now than it was then? I believe now we just have better communication. Like, now the internet, all these social media pages, so now people are able to oh, fuck. 
I just heard something about this. You know how back in the day, people used to always say, don't do this, that's where the devil, don't do this, that's the devil, da 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 It's because of when their parents went to uh, those mega churches and stuff, just wanted your money. So they were saying, cell phones are the devil, math is the devil, kind of like Waterboy. Yeah, but but look, at, look at how it is now. But, I mean, if anybody notices some creepy van, social media is going to have the whole fucking neighborhood knowing about it. Oh, right, but you also don't want to be that parent on social media with their kid missing, because everybody's going to know about it. Right, but nowadays, like even like the Amber Alerts to come in and shit, the mm-hmm. American everyone in the town. You know, you know, oh, what no I feel shit. like it's it's more prevalent that it's more dangerous nowadays, just because when you think about like all the technology and everything that we have, you're like, yeah, it's good, good communication, like you guys are saying. But the, on the same token, you have people who. Like back in the day, like if you were in school, like I can't say anything. I was, I didn't live up in that time, but you probably did. You know, you didn't have phones, you didn't have anything. So what did you do after you got off school? You went and went home and hung out with your friends, or vice versa, and went there to the house, and hung out with them, or however. Mm. Nowadays, you don't have that. So there's the, some people that just go to school, do what they do, go home, and then sit alone, and then it's fucking with their mental health, and that's why it's like. You know, they say mental health is a myth or however. But when you're alone for so long and you just don't have anybody to talk to, there's always that weird kid. You know, back in the day, there was that weird kid, but at least they had so- exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least they had somebody, <laughs> some other weird kid to talk to because you were open enough to be like, you know, we're going to hang out. Yeah. But nowadays, it's like, oh, I'd rather sit on my phone and just scroll through videos all day or do this mm-hmm. than communicate with anybody. Right. And then it creates this this sort of, mental image in their brain where they're like i'm a monster you know nobody cares it doesn't matter what i do i can do anything and nobody's going to do anything about it so then you literally have those people that go off and do this kind of shit that's why you have so many school shooters and stuff if it was back in the day you wouldn't have that because at least that person that's doing that shit would have somebody to talk to Mm. but even their own family sometimes are just so fucking convoluted and sucked into their own phone and their own bullshit and social media that they just don't give a fuck about anything around them. Well, I have a thing about the shooters, but I can't talk about them. Yeah, it's like, like, it <laughs> you know, you know, every, Just in general, you have like more of that type of that mindset where it's like you have those people that just don't have anybody and they just don't care about anything, so they're like, yeah. why not? Let's see where yeah. coming but, from. But why would that, what does that have to do with the saint outside? I mean, like because you have those people, cameras, though. you have those people walking around though, and since they have that mindset of "I don't give a fuck what happens," they're just gonna do whatever. Like you know, back in the day, even though when there was no cameras, at least those people had somebody. Yeah, but even the ones we had, like I remember, I, I would spend a summer. Like my mom would be at work eight hours a day, and I would be. <clears throat> sound super rude. Dorky, but I would ride around my town on rollerblades all day. Mm-hmm. I'm public by myself, just chilling. No friends hanging out with her. Like yeah, I can just go downtown by myself. Nothing ever. Yeah, but it's also you got to think of Epstein Island uh, and all these other things that people are learning about, which adds the fear which is like oh shit so these people do exist these people are out there yeah, but but our knowledge in social media and our technology has grown made us find those places right but now that we know about it now we're more scared of it now we're scared that it's so closer saying, than we believe because of social media it's just making people fearful at the outside yes yeah you know, like yeah you can think about it like uh before i said which in salem like mass hysteria you know you get you get something you get an idea that's different or something that nobody likes in in its general consensus about and then it's like all right everybody do this kill the witch burn the witch which is bad or it's like you know you see people missing and then it's like don't fucking let your kids go outside don't that's fucking true. do this and it's in the coronavirus too that adds into it everybody stay home don't go out don't do this don't talk to other people the world don't do stood anything still for a day yeah you know and i think that's adding into the fact is that they don't want us to find out anything so they added in that whole coronavirus thing right around the time that whole thing happened to sort of get everybody's mind off of that and more on the fact like you don't need to be going outside they don't want people to talk 
They want everybody to be shut in and sheltered from anything that's going on. They're they saying they want their to... secret, secret spots to stay secret. So we're finding we're... out too much shit. And I wonder what would happen if, if like, this month, this month that the big solar flare is supposed to hit and the internet is supposed to go down for like two weeks. Yeah, I heard some shit like that. I wonder what that's going to be. The world's going to stop. You got to think, everything that is anything, any place you go to, run off of the internet. I can't say the world will stop. I put a simple well, yeah, fact. Like third world countries, places that it doesn't matter, but yes. first world countries, they're going to stop because like, there's so much shit that runs off up. the internet. You go to any place, you go to, bank, you go to a, a food restaurant, a bank, a, a store, any store, your it's car, all digital, it's all run off the internet and Wi Fi because the transaction has to go across the internet and go. Yeah, that's around. what I don't understand about that story, though. Because, like, the solar power is supposed to stop the internet. It's like okay. an EMP. Okay, but what about everything else? Right. No, it yeah. would be an EMP. They would take out all electronics, what, in my mind, right. like the car. You know, mm -hmm. how's the car yeah. going to start? Yeah, yeah, it's but it's but unless it's a certain number. They're talking about yeah. just affecting the internet. That's because the they're doing an experiment. Also, I don't understand. How the fuck are these electric companies all of a sudden running out of power? I ain't heard no bullshit like that. I haven't heard anything like that either. What's that about? I'm about to say, where you hear this? You have to conserve your power because of the winter weather. See what the fuck? I think that's probably because of like like Last heating, year. heating and shit, maybe because like it's getting colder. So what? Yeah, but at the same time, I don't think Texas has like any major waterways like we, like other places do. You like look at like Vegas; it's run off the Hoover Dam and shit. Like that's hydroelectricity. I don't really think they have anything like that. I think Texas is cold. afraid of freezing, like they, they did last, last year. China, China might actually change it up a year or two. Yeah. They're they're building enough solar panels to basically <laughs> supply the world. <laughs> oh no shit! Yeah, oh plants. That's they, a lot of fucking solar panels. They spent two hundred billion dollars building the factories to create. Yeah, and they're gonna have enough by the end of twenty twenty three. No shit. By the end of this month, they're supposed to have enough to power half of the world. Three months into 2024, they'll have the other ones done. That's too much power. It's pretty it's solar, though. Not the point. That's them having all the power. Like, yeah, no, we can... That's, 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 that's actually smart for them. Yeah. Because their economy is failing left and right. That's why they went right. to the whole social... Social... social what do we call it? Score. That? Social score. Social yep. credit score. Yes. Because uh, they... You heard about all that, right? China... Oh, their bank's closed, bro. Yeah, there is no they physical cash. Yes. And, and, and riots were happening. Bro, and they were it's like whole World War II economy. Yeah, yes. that was bad. It was really bad. So, yeah, no more banks. No more money. Okay. Only Great credit depression, schools. basically. Yep. Yeah. That yep. we give each other. So, this this would be very smart because if they did sell to the rest of the world, that's how they'd make all their money back. But then again, we're also in debt to them. Yeah. Yeah. Everything but we have is made in China. Everything. That's that's how they that's how we were able to get away with our tip though. Because of that. It's all our trade relations. Mm -hmm. yes. We 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 allow our we allow ourselves to be in debt because we give them something equally in return because they still are able to make the money, but it's not going against our debt. We still have to pay them their debt and we have to pay them for the trade. Okay, so we're getting super out of topic. Yeah. It's been over an hour. You guys have a good one. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry great. about that. We just got on to it. Sorry, it. yeah, <laughs> it'll happen sometime. Until next time. Yeah, see ya.